Every piece of how the occupation was actually organized just evolved. People would see, we need this one thing and I can figure out how to provide it. I just saw that there was a lot of confusion because people were coming to the Capitol and they really wanted to do something and they would show up and it was like you walk into one of the eight doors, there's a million people there, you don't know where to go, there's no one like directing you, there weren't any signs that said what to do, it just was confusing. The idea of having a physical space where people could go and ask questions, where there was information that they could get, I thought was so critical. Right away they set up a really great Twitter feed, Defend Wisconsin, and people were able to sign up to get these text messages sent to their phone. But once there were so many people in the Capitol, people's cell phones really weren't working properly. A lot of people just weren't familiar with that kind of program. And I didn't like the idea that those people wouldn't have any kind of information. At about three o'clock in the morning, a guy walked by, saw what we were doing, and handed us $100. So the next morning I went out to Walgreens, we bought blue tape, a bunch of posters and pens and name tags, and started setting up the info station. The first thing I did was start figuring out who was doing what. Then, at certain points, when other people would say, I want to do this, I could put them in touch with who was actually doing it. There's this guy, he said, well, there's a janitorial staff, but I really think we need to be doing some cleaning up too. I said, well, that is a brilliant idea. And not only should you do some cleaning up, you should get other people and if you happen to be doing that in front of some news cameras, well, that wouldn't be a tragedy either. The thing a lot of the occupants did was basically spend their time transforming the interior of the capital until it looked like some sort of activist shanty town. That itself helped create a sense of community symbolically. You could put your stuff down in the Capitol and no one would take it. You could count on people to be sort of their best selves. 